The Secret Life of Squirrels by Nancy Rose Most squirrels spend their days gathering nuts and climbing trees. Not Mr. Peanuts. He is a rather unusual squirrel. Mr. Peanuts enjoys activities such as cooking on his tiny grill. His hot dogs are delicious. Mr. Peanuts plays the piano beautifully. His favorite piece is Moonlight Sonata. Most squirrels would find the piece quite difficult to play, but then again, most squirrels don't play the piano. Mr. Peanuts likes to read. His favorite books are A Tale of Two Cities and Good Night Nut. He especially likes to read aloud. You may have heard him chattering in your backyard. Mr. Peanuts has a busy and mostly happy life, but once in a while, he feels lonely. Being a clever squirrel, Mr. Peanuts has an idea. He sits down and writes a letter using his very best penmanship. Dear Cousin Squirrel, please come for a visit. I promise you will have an excellent time. Sincerely, Mr. Peanuts. He mails the letter the very next day. Then he waits and waits, and waits some more. He checks his mailbox every day, hoping for a reply. One day, he finds a letter waiting for him. It reads, Dear Mr. Peanuts, my favorite cuz, thanks for the letter. It's been too long. Can't wait to see what you're up to these days. I'll be there soon. Cheers, Cousin Squirrel. Mr. Peanut smiles as he reads the tiny letter over and over. Then he gets right to work. He wants to make sure everything is perfect for his cousin's visit. Mr. Peanut dusts and cleans, even vacuums under the rug. He does laundry, chattering to himself as he works. He is the tidiest squirrel around, and certainly the only one with a washer and dryer. Mr. Peanuts makes up his cousin's bed just so, with the sheets tucked in tight. He wants him to have a great night's sleep. He bakes his most delicious hazelnut chocolate cake. He tastes the batter just to make sure it is sweet enough. Mr. Peanuts takes a bath with his rubber ducky. A squirrel can never be too clean. He even brushes his whiskers. Just look at that handsome squirrel in the mirror. Finally, Cousin Squirrel arrives. He is just in time for breakfast. Mr. Peanuts and Cousin Squirrel both love pancakes. Later, the two squirrels go for a wagon ride. Mr. Peanuts soon learns that two squirrels travel faster than one. Mr. Peanuts teaches Cousin Squirrel how to play chess. Cousin Squirrel learns quickly. It is more fun to play chess with a friend, thinks Mr. Peanuts, even if you don't always win. It is a beautiful day, so they pack a picnic. Cousin Squirrel makes his peanut butter sandwiches with an extra layer of crunchy peanuts. Mr. Peanuts has never thought to try that. It tastes scrumptious. That night, they build a campfire and scare each other with ghost stories, including the old haunted tree and the one-eyed owl. You can't tell yourself a ghost story, thinks Mr. Peanuts. You need a friend. The next day, they go out for ice cream. Mr. Peanuts has his usual scoop of peanut brittle. Cousin Squirrel tries the flavor of the month, buttery salted pecan. Mr. Peanuts and Cousin Squirrel are two rather unusual squirrels who have a wonderful time together. Having a friend makes everything twice as fun. The end.